So speaking of the recent election, uh, forgetting about Democrat versus Republican, I know on the Access of Justice website it mentions that it's going to cover this over the next few weeks, mm. but what don't you agree with Barack Obama in terms of policy stances? Well, then there's a long things. laundry list. I mean, oh. um, there's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> very, well, no, just, I mean, everyone's obviously very, well, most people I know at least are very happy that the Democrats are back in the White House. Yeah. But I mean, just uh, looking towards the future. Well, I mean, I mean, first of all, he's pledged to expand the war in Afghanistan which was an illegal and immoral war t to begin with. I mean, that thing. Um, he's, he's been in favor of the uh, $700 billion bailout, which was basically a huge regressive income tax, where people who are working at the Dairy Queen, their tax dollars are going towards some of the richest corporations in the world. I mean, those are the... I, I'll, you, we got off maybe on the wrong foot. I'm, I'm hopeful that, that Barack Obama can reverse some of the crimes of the Bush administration. I'm hopeful that that's the case. But it's not like him. It's still a Democrat in the White House. It's not search tank in the Okay, well, speaking of which, let's say you have suddenly, you're all powerful. Who do you put in the White House? <laughs> I'm all powerful. I don't know. I what's on, what's, on, like, your what's on your resume? What's on your resume? I mean, if, I, if, if I were, so. were going to put someone in the White House, mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe, maybe a, a ticket of sort of Michael Moore and Steve Earle would be good. That would be a good one. Chuck D is, you know, sort of a, a chief of staff. Chief of staff. Good stuff. Uh, n nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> um. We've just had Dick Cheney, for goodness sake. Give me a, give me a fucking break. Like, like, <laughs> you have nothing to follow it up with. Like, like, that's an outrageous idea that Steve Earle, like, give me a break. Good grief. Right, we've, had, we've had some of the worst war criminals of the last 20 years and happening those hollow dolls. Yeah, how extreme? Well, I, I think I know how you yep. feel about the current, well, soon to be former administration. Yeah. Thankfully, do you feel that extreme that, that crimes have been committed that should that are arrestable or should be arrestable? Do I feel? I mean, yes. they've they've the Bush administration has. If if you believe in the tenets of the Geneva Convention and international law, the Bush administration has committed horrendous war crimes. You know, which they, you know. If, if the same laws of Nuremberg were applied, they'd all be hung. I mean, first of all, a, a first strike aggression against a sovereign nation without the explicit consent of the United Nations is a war crime. That's war crime number one. Torture is another war crime. Uh, the killing of civilians is another war crime. So, that, I mean, there's a long laundry list that you can hang those sons of bitches for. Um, I mean, that's not even... I don't even think that's controversial, other than the fact that the United States news would never report on something like would, would never even cover those stories because we're because our nation is so so rich and powerful and militarily stocked and omnipotent that when we do that stuff, it's well, it's in our best interest. But those are definitely war crimes that should be punished. Out of all of the people who initially threw in their hats to be a presidential candidate, who do you think was best suited? And might still be best suited. Best the best suited. That's it. Yeah. Um, Both parties, well, including I mean, it depends, on, depends on what you mean by suited. Uh, I mean, there are different candidates that are. I, I think, in some ways, John McCain was very well suited to be president because he would feed into the corporate interests that own the country. So he might be best suited to be president. He's not the one that I would like. Of, of all the candidates, like which would I choose, or which yes. am I most ideologically aligned with? While I'd still say I'm, you know, three great leaps to the left of Dennis Kucinich, at least I believe, believe was very honest about um, uh, you know, a, a lot of the issues that, uh, that face the country. And Vice President? Steve Earle? Again? St well, Steve, Steve Earle would be much better. Than all. You could put all of them in a sack and throw them off a bridge, and Steve Earle I, would be, be left standing. He's fantastic. The thing, the thing is, like, we have, we have such narrow parameters for what is allowed in both discourse and what makes it into the ballot box. There's a, there's a saying, that a, a, a flippant saying, if voting really mattered, they'd make it illegal. And, I, and to a certain extent, that is, that is the case. That is why we have a two-party system. The ideas that are not acceptable to those who come up with the $600 million it takes to run a presidential campaign are simply not allowed in the debate. You can't run for president of the United States and not be in favor of some war. 